ourselves up. Well, we did it. We dared to dream big, and we delivered on that dream. We have presented 16 all new products in just 19 months. We have begun to completely overhaul our production processes, introducing the highest quality standards in the world at all of our plants. And we have undertaken a profound transformation of our organization, introducing a new culture based on meritocracy and on accountability. And these principles have become a core part of our corporate philosophy, a philosophy where merit prevails over whom you know, and leadership over authority, the pursuit of excellence over mediocrity, the spirit of competition over egocentricity, and reliability over idle promises. These values form part of who we are today, and they need to be protected, and they need to be preserved. In the face of constant change, the sense of values we have enables us to be resilient, to stay true to the important principles of life that have no borders, justice, integrity, honesty, and respect for others. And these values guide our everyday choices and remind us of the importance of making those choices with rigor and with commitment and with the full awareness of the consequences that it can have. And they're also the best guarantee that for our individual futures and for the future of Chrysler. It is these values and our hard work that have produced results. We have been achieving consistent, solid share gains in all of our markets. We closed the first quarter this year with the first positive bottom line result since a new Chrysler was born. We are changing both the image and the substance of our group and are regaining the faith of the public at large and even more importantly of our customers. This impressive about face prompted one commentator to say that we have gone from third world to world class. Now we all knew that it was not going to be easy. All of us remember that until just a short time ago, in the eyes of most, Chrysler had been condemned to death. It wasn't going to be easy to regain confidence from a world that has seemingly turned its back on the organization. And for many of you, it was not easy to choose to stay here with some of your co-workers who thought they were working on the SS Titanic, chose to abandon ship even before the band had stopped playing. But easy is not a label you can give to anything which is truly worth doing. And building a new Chrysler definitely is something worth doing. For us, for our children, and for everyone who has trusted us. The past two years have also taught us a lot. They've made us more conscious of our abilities and confident in ourselves. They taught us that the only difference between the possible and the impossible is that the impossible has never been done before. This morning, I wrote a letter to all of the Chrysler employees that you probably either received, or if not, you will shortly. And then I decided I couldn't stay in my office, not today. I needed to come here, and I needed to see you. Today is one of those days you want to share with those who made it a reality. And that is why it was very important for me to come here and speak to you, to all of you in person, and with all your co-workers who are watching this from other plants. I wanted to thank you, each and every one of you, for what you've done. The paid buttons were made that we made are more than just a souvenir to mark today, more than simply an object that you pull out in 20 years and say, I was there when Chrysler repaid its debt to the government. They're a reminder of what you're capable of achieving. You have demonstrated that if confronted with courage and tenacity, no obstacle is insurmountable. You've demonstrated what can be achieved by the hard work and passion of tens of thousands of people who don't give in when the going gets tough, but rather who dig deep within, within themselves and find the strength to get back on their feet and move forward. You demonstrated the level of pride that exists within Chrysler through your determination to restore it to its rightful place. And above all, you've demonstrated your belief in yourselves and in each other. This is what the button is about, not just repayment, but also faith in who we are and where we're going. These moments are not just moments of celebration. They're also occasions to reflect on how we got here 
and why we got here. As always happens in life, the hardest, the most difficult moments, when you feel lost and you believe that there's no longer hope, are also the most meaningful and the most character-forming moments that change you forever. Those who survive will find the strength and the courage to stand and fight will never be as before. Survivors are different people. They're special people. You and I, together with all of our other colleagues at Chrysler, are survivors. And especially you here at SHAP, a plant which in our original plans was slated for closure. A plant which is now looking forward to the introduction of a new state-of-the-art platform which will guarantee the future for a very long time. 